What is up guys, Kyle here, and look at that Marlin. Jump out of that water. Yeah, me and my uh, brother-in-law, Seth, uh, well, I guess he reeled it in, but uh, we went out fishing out in Cabo, Mexico, Cabo San Lucas, and um, this was our very first Marlin. And I think we, we paid for an eight hour trip, and I think we caught this guy in like the third or uh, actually like fourth or fifth hour. And it was an awesome time. Cabo San Lucas is known for its marlin fishing. Uh, I think this, the marlin that we have on right here is a striped marlin. Um, I think they might be the second biggest species of marlin. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that the really big marlins are the blue marlin that are, um, I think, I think they can be up to like a couple thousand pounds if I'm, if I remember correctly. But yeah, this was awesome. I, I cut a lot of the footage out because it took him like 15, 20 minutes to reel it in. And, uh, that would be a lot of boring footage to watch. And uh, there he is shaking in the water. He was a beast. Uh, we actually, so we caught this guy. I think it was like eight feet long. I don't know. We didn't weigh it. Um, but we saw a bunch of taxidermied plaques of marlin, striped marlin. And the one that we caught seemed like it was bigger than a lot of the ones that were already on people's walls. So uh, we didn't know like what, what big and small was. And these dudes didn't really speak very good English. And, uh, yeah, there's my brother-in-law, Seth. And, um, yeah, he made the, the big mistake of, of when he got it to the boat, that's when the guys asked him, do you want to keep it? And he was, he had his adrenaline going and everything. And he said, yeah, I want to keep it. And it turned out to be a big mistake because, uh, you got two options when you want to keep it. Obviously, if you keep it, you want to you want to get a taxidermy and, and um, get a wall mount and stuff and put that puppy on your wall. But you don't know the price of that until you get back to the, the dock, and that was 2000 bucks. And, I mean, we could have we could have afforded it, but um, we'd rather just take, uh, take our money back to the United States and um, get the measurements, and we got pictures and stuff, and maybe recreate it down the line, but... Uh, we weren't ready to spawn well he wasn't ready to spontaneously spend two grand so we ended up donating it and when they donated it they they people don't really eat marlin meat so they they donated it or we donated it and they give it to um, poor families supposedly so uh yeah we did our we did our work we also caught a bunch of other fish like or well, i caught a mahi mahi which uh, we ended up taking to the dock and um, they cut it up for you or they, they flate and everything and they cooked it up right there at the dock and, and at this little restaurant, which was uh, probably the best fish. It's a Mahi Mai. It's a really cool looking one, but we actually, Seth was on the camera and I had my DSLR and he, uh, I didn't give him a, a, a rundown of how to use it. And so he actually wasn't recording, but the Mahi Mai is a lot smaller. I, I have a picture, maybe I'll, I'll throw in right here. And it got really beat up in the fish box when we took pictures. So I, we didn't really get to take good pictures of it either. So yeah, there's our Marlin. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys later. Peace.